是破屁破屁破屁破，开怕啥啥怕死 ，What they do? Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. It seems as if dancehall artist Raigin King might be getting himself in some sorts of trouble. Based on some sorts of accusation allegations that were placed against him by one of his baby mother, they have a child together, a child that is two year old, a little boy. Apparently, they sh they share custody of that child. Don't know the arrangements, but it seems as if the mother dropped off the child to Rigan King's house. He lives. With a new girlfriend, baby mother, whatever the case is, don't really know the status. Apparently, that little child, based on what Rigan King is saying, was running up and down plain. He fell, bruised him face, and maybe one or a couple of his teeth got missing. Him drop and lick it out. Apparently, when the mother, baby mother, picked back up the child. She saw the obvious bruise. She saw the teeth was missing. So therefore, the child was not returned as the child left. So she was obviously upset. I guess when she confronted Rigan King, the response that she got was not casual, cordial. So therefore, there was some sorts of verbal altercation, almost turned physical, where she said. Impulse some sorts of tool after her. She went and she did a live, and she expressed herself of exactly what happened. Don't know what type of vindictive feeling is being carried because they are no longer together. Don't know the intricacies of that. Don't know if she's in her feelings because him have a new girlfriend, a new baby mother. People, it does not matter. The fact is that. She is the baby mother, so therefore every baby mother or mother is going to be concerned for their child. Whenever your child get hurt or anything happens to that child, it seems as if it happens to you. It is their maternal or paternal, whatever instinct is going to kick in. So, people, I am going to let her explain everything. This is based on a live that she did. This is the audio from the live. It is about three minutes or so long. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. All right, Billy, think of the doubt. You said the baby drop. You said the kid drop and bruise of him face. Why you never feel like saying it's the sorry for you? Call me and tell me, said the baby front teeth drop out. Tell me. Why you never find it necessary to tell me? And when you see me a while ago, you're going to put them, point out, gun out a window. Now nobody afraid of you. Brother, you're in a wheelchair. You're in a wheelchair, what is wrong with you? I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you, bro. I'm not afraid of you. I'm going to report you. You're too out of I'm going to report you. I'm going to report you, woman. God, no. I'm not always trying to find my baby born till now. I'm not always trying to, but I can't tell you right now. I done it done. This is not going to happen the next time. It's not going to happen. Because there is no way. My baby are two years old. My baby are just two years old. And me go pick up my son from you. Me go pick up my son from you. And my baby front teeth drop. You're not even have a decent if you say, okay, let me call the mother in farmer about what's going on. Yes, kids do fall, things happen, mistakes do happen. But me and the mother, if it was a mistake, you would have called me and tell me, say, yes, the baby front teeth drop out when he drop. And if yes, bruise up, get it, bro. You cross me, bro. And anything you want come on the internet, cause say right now, bro, you're free for do it. But member say, I bring down for bring down. I bring down for bring down, yeah. Member, me tell you that. No mother never did all make that slide, you hear that? No mother never did I go allow that for slide. On a bin of fuck with me, on a bin of fuck with me. I'm just easy, I'm just calm, see, I'm not do the most. All of my friends, they know what I have to go through with Uno, but I can't tell you this at the last sight, right? In you, at the last sight, boy, you're the pull up gun. Remember, say, I will cheer you in a body, boy. Remember, remember, I will cheer you in a year, nobody. 
Nobody not afraid of you. I don't afraid of you. And I don't want to take out the gun just now. You should have shoot me, kill me. I don't know what I do. Because I don't know if you feel like I'm afraid of you. And you decide that. Listen to me, though. Cross my blood class spirit here. And I'm here to tell you because you're a girl. And I know you love to argue. So I know you're going to come back. And I want to say this and say that. But remember, good year. Remember. Remember. I can't if you hate me, say. Mama, shoot me, hold on. Mama, see if I can. Share. See there. So I'm going to be happy face there. I'm going to be happy face that. I'm going to be happy face that, yeah. See, you know, I'm going to be happy more there. See, you know, my son more there. What are you going to tell me, say? I drop in, drop. Now, people, the fox are the fox. You as a mother drop off your child. The pitney come back. The face bruise up. Teeth missing. Something definitely wrong. However, you cannot act as if these people A, B, U, S, E, that child. These people intentionally push down the little pitney and cause the little pitney to get bruised up or lose them teeth. In my opinion, because of whatever relationship they have, it is not so good. It seems as if things might have been taken out of context. This is where proper communication should come into play. This is where people are supposed to learn to coexist. Even if they are not together, it is for the benefit of that child. So therefore, do not fuel any sorts of flame or throw any sorts of gasoline in the FIRE. Obviously, the mother is going to be upset because based on what she said, he did not call her and she thought that it would have been the necessary thing to do. However, people like me say, don't know who initiated or instigated or caused the flare up based on what this lady said, implying some sorts of tool at her. There should be no circumstance where you Especially if that toll is illegal or even if it is not illegal, it is legal. To point it at somebody in any sort of threatening way that by itself is a charge. That by itself is criminal. So therefore he was definitely meaning Rigan King wrong there without a shadow of a doubt. Now... There's a proverb that goes something like this or a saying. A soft word turn it away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. People, if you notice in this video, this lady keep repeating, Remember, say you're there in a wheelchair, me not afraid of you, so therefore me can rush you, me can confront you. People, when a man who is an artist, Lost his mobility, almost paralyzed. Just to give you the story, he was scanned up a couple of times. He went and he did a couple of surgeries. He is now wheelchair bound. So therefore, it sounds a bit insensitive. Yes, it is the fact. However, is that something you want to say to somebody in any sorts of rage? People like me say. Me never did it. Me no know who instigate or initiated the confrontation. What she should have done, simply walk away, report it to the popo like she said. However, people, it seems as if our people, especially people from the garrison, they always want to push F-I-R-E versus fire. People that will only send up more rage. It is obvious that this is an ongoing problem. It is obvious that they don't see eye to eye because he is no longer. Don't know who leave who. However, it is obvious that they are not together. Because she said it herself. The girlfriend, our baby mother and Rigan King, 
did not think that it was necessary to inform them. So therefore, it seems as if there is some sorts of vindictive feeling, some sorts of belly a carry. And she said it herself, this is bring down for bring down. So therefore, if you try to say anything or defame my character, I am going to do the same thing. I am going to report you to the popo and I am going to make sure that you get locked up. People, again, as a mother, as a father, if you are the person that have that child most of the time, especially as a mother, you are going to feel some sorts of way whenever your child gets injured or hurt. It is only natural. So, like I said, Rigan King is D-E-A-D -E wrong for pulling any sorts of tool on this lady. It is not justified. However, you cannot be confronting somebody or arguing with somebody whenever you see them have some sorts of tool whether or not it is legal or illegal. It is something that you just don't do. However, it seems as if this lady was confrontational. Was it justified because she is hurt, because her child was hurt? Maybe so. But then when you're going to diss a man, especially a man that is from the street, especially when this is a man that is said to have some sorts of G-A-N-G -G affiliation, a man that just lost his mobility a couple of years ago, is not able to perform, is in a very paralyzed state right now. It is very insensitive. This could have been handled in a way better way. It did not have to happen like that. So people, at the end of the day, the facts are this. The child got hurt. This mother is obviously concerned. This mother thought that the communication could have been better. And yes, Rigan King or the baby mother should have contacted this mother and let her know when the thing happened initially. That could have probably diffuse some of the problem, especially when they are not on good terms. So therefore, she showed the picture with the tooth that was missing, the bruise upon the face. Rigan King did not come out and deny it. So therefore, we know that it happened. What concerns me most is this. Is this a good look for a family? People, we realize on in this era, Social media, people take social media to resolve all sorts of conflict. People think that it is no longer sensible thing, alternative to do, solution to reason out things between a baby mother and a father for the best interest of their child. The thing that concerns me also, is this tool illegal, especially Rigan King in his present situation, I do not think that you want to end up in any of our fine penal institution under your current or present circumstance. People like me say, a soft word, turn it away wrath. Grievous words, stir up anger. They could have dealt with it a better way, less sensitive way, compatible more better communication. However, people, that is the problem when people are always trying to prove, show and tell. Social media has turned persons into monsters. They feel as if this is a new people's court and people, most of the time, all they do is this other and make a bad situation even worse. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.